So we'll stop the slider bar at the beginning and we'll set the T-shape to that. Now one thing you'll notice right away is that as we start manually adding keyframes, we go to from the first keyframe to the next keyframe, there is a huge um, space. There's a huge difference between the first and second keyframe, and that's probably going to create some distortion. Not now, but as we get further along in the, um, the, in the timeline, it's going to affect other keyframes in a negative way. So we have to, we'll have to keep an, our eye on that. And we're going to give this kind of a neutral position.